didn't know you were here. I noticed. I saw the look on your face. What are you talking about? You know. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just I'm a little tired. It's been a long day. Yeah, it's not over yet. It's quite some scare you gave everybody. What do you mean, when? Before the ceremony. Nobody knew if you were going to show up. Her poor old Victor is sweating blood. Oh, Victor knew I would show up. I just had to adjust my veil, that's all. Mm -hmm. Sure took your time about it. I wanted everything to be just right. And was it? Was everything just the way you wanted it? Everything was just the way I wanted it. What was it the uh, minister said? Truth remains elusive. Oh, you're drunk. You're drunk. Oh, uh, not yet. Oh. I'm working on it. Yeah, this makes perfect sense to me, Bob, because you would never say any of this if you were sober. Well, well you think I'm some kind of jerk who needs to be drunk in order to say what he feels? I never said that. No, you didn't say... Okay, it's true. Ever since my... Not anymore. Not I've been eating poor. From now on, you're gonna hear exactly how I feel. You, you won't know what I'm gonna say or do. Go. Just go. Go? What? And miss my dance with the bride? I mean it, though. I want you to get out of here. Hey, what are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of you. Oh, yeah? You might feel afraid I might mess up your little party. Mm -hmm. Might say something I shouldn't. Is that it? Speak out of line. Maybe I'll spit in the punch bowl. Maybe I'll cause a fight. You don't know what I'll do, do you? And that scares you. You would never do anything to hurt me or anyone else. sure can't embarrass you. I am not afraid of being embarrassed. What are you afraid of? Huh? Mm. Afraid of this? Best man. I'm supposed to kiss the bride. You know what I mean, but why did you do that? Felt sorry for you. You felt sorry for me? Mm-hmm. You think the old man's gonna kiss you like that? Hmm? If you didn't like it, why'd you respond like that, huh? Why'd you kiss me back? Oh, there you are. Our guests are asking for you. I'm sorry. I just, I came out for some air. I see. You know, if I weren't sure about your feelings for me, I might be upset finding you two alone out here like this. But then we all know that those days are behind us, don't we? Of course. Don't you agree, Bo? Of course. Well, in that case, we should get back to the party. I hope you have your toast ready, Bo. Toast? Yes, the best man's toast to the bride and groom. No wedding is complete without it. Attention, please. If you don't already have a glass of champagne, would you get one? Oh, My son is about to propose a toast.
First of all, thank you for showing up tonight. I mean, I know you all didn't have much notice, because uh, I was the first one to find out about this, and that was just uh, about a week ago. So thanks. And um, you'll have to forgive me if my speech is a little sloppy. I haven't had much time to work on it. Oh, it's okay, Mrs. Well, H. I gotta not... give a toast here. Mm. I'm the best man. It's all right. Uh, I grew up on the water. You know, it's pretty different surroundings than this on the riverfront. And then I, um, I lived on the sea for a while. And the water, it, uh, it teaches you things. And one of the lessons I learned is that life isn't fair. You know, some people have the luck, some people don't. And I hope you do. Here's to calm waters and smooth sailing. Carly, I think it's time to throw the bouquet. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, that's a good idea. All the ladies on. Come on in here. Are you okay? Gentlemen, it's our turn. Oh. Without saying goodbye, are you? Uh, no. Good night, Victor. Good night, Mrs. Kiriakis. You know, I really should be getting back to the guests. Bye, Princess.